America is faced with her worst domestic crisis since the Civil War, or since the Revolutionary War. For America now faces a race war. A race war is worse than a Revolutionary War. A race war is worse than a Civil War. A race war is a war in which no holes are barred. A race war is a war in which children are destroyed, in which children are mutilated, in which children face the same destructive wrath that grown-ups face. The race, a race war is the worst war that you can conceive. And this war, race war, that is coming upon the head of the white man is something that he is bringing down upon himself. The entire country is on the verge of erupting into racial violence and bloodshed. Simply because 20 million ex-slaves are demanding freedom, justice, and equality here in America from their former slave master, 20 million so-called Negroes, second-class citizens, seeking human dignity, seeking human rights, seeking the right to live in dignity as a human being. And rather than give genuine respect and recognition to your cry for human rights, the American white man answers your nonviolence with violence. He answers your prayers and your freedom songs with false promises, deceitful maneuvers, and outright bloodshed. According to what we are taught from the white man's textbooks and his school, the Revolutionary War and the Civil War were two wars fought on American soil supposedly for freedom and democracy. But if these two wars were really for the freedom and human dignity of all men, why are 20 million of our people still confined here in America and enslaved by second-class citizenship? Something is wrong. The truth is that the Revolutionary War was fought on American soil to free the American white man from the English white man. The Revolutionary War was never fought to provide freedom and democracy in this white country for the black man. Our people remain slaves here in America even after the Declaration of Independence was signed. In fact, most of the white founding fathers who signed the Declaration of Independence were nothing but slave owners themselves. It is sheer hypocrisy, sheer ignorance, sheer insanity for our people here in America to celebrate the 4th of July as Independence Day, while white America still denies us first-class citizenship that goes with an independent people. And it is nothing but hypocrisy for the American white man to pretend that the Revolutionary War was truly a war of independence as long as 20 million black people here in America are denied the privileges of an independent people. Don't let the white man fool you. Don't let the white man smile at you and lull you to sleep. Behind that smile is a vicious heart. Behind those teeth is an animal-like beast who doesn't have it within him to want for you what he wants for himself and his own kind. Don't let that man fool you. When you look at that man, you're supposed to see him for exactly what he is. And if you want to know what he is, examine his deeds. Forget his words. He got a whole lot of pretty sounding words. Watch his deeds. His deeds are like the deeds of a snake, the deeds of a dragon, the deeds of a reptile, the deeds of a beast. Why, nothing but a race of beasts would take dogs and stick them on little black babies. Nothing but a race of beasts will stick dogs on black children and black women. Nothing but a race of beasts. And it is for these, and it is these deeds today that's causing the wrath of God to come down upon the head of the white man. And when you see him as he is and see how much hell he's catching, you're out of his mind to want to be with him. You're out of his mind to want to, you're out of your mind to want to integrate with him. And you're really out of your mind if you take time to forgive him and ask God to have mercy on him. No, ask God to judge him. Ask God to do unto him as he has done unto you. He 
He has caused your babies to suffer. Ask God to heap suffering upon his babies. He has caused your women to suffer. Ask God to heap suffering on his women. He has caused all of our people to suffer. You can't deny that. You may not like my saying it, but you can't deny it. Why, you got scars and knots on your head from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And every one of those scars is evidence against the American white man and his inhumanity to man.